Alright, so we see this gentleman with his golf swing here on the Super Famicom. It's a pretty clean swing. Birdie try. So this is Serizawa Nobuo No Birdie Try. I'm assuming that's a real golfer. 1992 Toho. Wow, I just got a text that I need to get my eye exam. Oh well, don't have time for it. Let's go ahead and get into this, I guess. Alright, so you got the dude putting the hole in the place for the day, I guess. Lakeside Golf Club. So you can see the, the course here. The clubhouse up there. Alright. So we'll come in. Nice lady. Okay. So... My month is nine. Okay, so... Then you can pick your bag of clubs, and basically they're like difficulty levels, so the one with the bunnies is like beginner, and then this is like your super pro, right? So it tells you which clubs are in it, and then your maximum drive and your handicap. So the last one, the handicap's like 6, but your maximum drive is 280. Is this the one you want? Hi, I do. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so gives you three options. We'll take this middle one because I think this is training game and this is just regular play. I'll just play by myself, I guess. Man, was that really a year ago that I got glasses? Holy crap. Alright, so that must be the guy. You know what? Let me I'll Google this just so I can see. Nobuo. Seri Zawa, professional golfer. He has no picture on his Wikipedia. Professional wins. Well, he has a few. Or had a few. Looks like he hasn't played in a while. Okay. Well, anyway. Good enough to have a golf game at any rate. So it's a 510 yard hole, and I don't know if it's an emulation thing or if it's supposed to do it. But the shit's all jiggly because it's like mode 7 that's remaining in place. And it's frustrating to watch. So, of course, he hits it like, like a pro because he is one. But the jiggly shit on the ground is... It's giving me a headache. So you can move your club up and down. And then if you hit B. I don't know what you can do. Oh, the shoulder buttons determine where you're going to hit. Okay. And then you can make your stance whatever. We'll just go ahead and hit it regular. And I'm a Japanese dude. Which, oh, I missed. For a, oh god, how embarrassing. For a Super Famicom game, I guess that makes sense. Because I would assume that in 1992, the percentage of non-Japanese players playing Super Famicom games is extremely low. Well, it's probably still extremely low in 2019, but even more so back then. Did I miss it again? Holy shit, all right, well. There we go, right on the money. You really gotta, gotta mean it when you tap the button though or it doesn't register. Don't hit that tree, please. So 
so despite the uh, Super Nintendo having scaling, those felt like the buildings in like Super Thunder Blade on the Genesis. So it's weird. It's kind of a kind of reminds me of uh, the way the world scrolls. Is like if you had a lower view of like the more recent Animal Crossing games or something. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, the way you can see it kind of like pulling up, like you're over the crest of the Earth or whatever. But it, 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 this has to be an emulation thing, the shaking, because it's fucking miserable. All right, 35, huh? Oh, that was bad. Am I going to make it distance-wise? Well, at least it's on the green, even if it is far away. Eagle try, holy crap, it's called birdie try, dude. So you get a nice zoom in. Okay, so homeboy got an eagle. I gotta go 14 feet, huh? I went too hard. Well, this is kind of bullshit. Let's see, 17. What is that, a triple bogey? Plus four? Wow. Okay, so that's Serizawa Nobuo no Birdie Try, but they brought it to the US and I had never heard of that before today. And when they localized it, ah oh boy, they localized it. Mecha Robot Golf is a trademark of Toho. So, I guess nobody in the U.S. would know who Serizawa Nobuo is. So they turned him into a robot called Eagle. And called it Mecha Robot Golf. And according to... <laughs> according to the Wikipedia, which I'm assuming is accurate, the story for this one, when they localized it, is robots are considered second-class citizens and are not allowed to play golf with human beings. So despite Eagle, this robot here, being superior as a golf player to humans, he's not allowed to play with them. So some benefactor purchased a golf course so that Eagle can play golf, and now you can play golf against him. I Whatever. And this dude will be in different spaces sometimes if you reset it, which is kind of cool. I don't know if it impacts the actual game itself, but that screen is probably the best looking part of this entire thing. Okay, so now it's Hyper Golf Club instead of Lakeside Links or whatever it said. And it's a white lady instead of a Japanese lady. So we'll do a new game. Oh, I already have one here. Alright, well, we'll just make another one. So lesson competition driving range. So if you do lesson, the guy talks to you about oh we'll just do that. We're only gonna play like one hole anyway. So you get out here on the course with old Eagle. Let's begin the lesson round. Press X button when lesson appears on the screen. I wonder what this dude thought about being turned into like golf terminator. The first of par five hole, five hundred and ten yards. Rather long distance, but the terrain is flat and straight. Like, at least he's a friendly robot, he's not like murdering people or whatever, but still, dude, fucking go.
It's just so... The movement is so awkward, it's making me uncomfortable. I want to go lay down after this. I kind of wonder, is there like an emulator setting where it would make it not fucking jiggle like that the whole time? The only time I'm used to seeing graphics do that shit is on the Commodore, they would do it with like naked lady pictures so that it could be a little bit more detailed. See, and now I'm a white guy. They colored my hair blonde. So that makes me a white guy. Can't be a Japanese delinquent with blonde hair. That won't do. I don't know if we're going to be able to get there, but we'll try. Contact is good, though. Uh. It really does. It doesn't feel like it's scaling at all. It feels like it's... It feels like an early Genesis game. Except for the jiggly floor. A good old eagle here. He's going to get right on there, I'm sure. I don't think it'll be the exact same shot that dude made, but I could see it being pretty close. Oh, he's in the bunker. Means nothing. Alright, 128. If I could just hit it all the way, who cares? Oh, it's perfect. Please don't land in a bunker. Chip it in. Oh, well, maybe not. Birdie try for Eagle. Okay. Not a doubt he doesn't make it. Great. So, what's mine? A par try? Mine's a birdie try too, huh? Was it 32 feet? Oh shit, son. Birdie. Way better than last time. So, I have to not play this anymore because it's making my eyeballs hurt, but I'm amazed I had never heard of this before. I thought I was familiar with every title in the Super Nintendo library, and I keep finding out about weird-ass obscure shit like this. I wonder... Alright, you know what? Hang on. Let's go to old eBay here. When it's a game I've never heard of, I like to try to look it up. Let's see. Mecha Robot Golf. Are there any copies on eBay? Five ninety nine. Wow, really? Factory sealed for ten bucks. Huh. Okay. Well, if you want a copy of this, it's out there. I, I personally don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. But uh, yeah, that's a golf game in two different regions, and how strange they got with the uh, localization process to get around. You know, I don't know if it's just because maybe that golfer didn't have visibility in the U.S. or maybe they just did not want to pay him, like, extra licensing rights for his name in another region or something. Who knows? But it's such a weird thing. Anyway, I gotta go before I throw up, so I will see you later. Thanks for watching.